I said, empty your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. YouTube salute here to talk about KRS-One, the teacher, the philosopher, the professor, versus the God MC, Ra Kim, who is a better MC. Damn, this is about to be a tough one. I did not want to do this, but we're going to do it. So if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. Also, cast your vote for Kofi's Hip Hop Hall of Fame. The link is in the description. So let's start off by letting everybody know when Rakim um, began his career and Kara's One, they start off doing group um, like group albums. Kara's One, Boogie Down Productions. They came out with five albums, and Rakim came out with four to five albums with um, Airbnb and Rakim. Excuse me, four albums. So Rakim, Airbnb and Rakim, they dropped Paid in Full, July 7, 1987. That went platinum. Follow the Leader, July 26, 1988. When Go. Let the rhythm hit hit them. June 19th, 1990. That went gold. And don't sweat the technique. June 23rd, 1992. Now, you get to carry us one. Oh my God. Criminal Mind in 1987. By all means necessary, 1988. Ghetto Music, the blueprint of hip hop. That's what Jay-Z got his album title from, 1989. Edutainment, 1990, and Sex and Violence, 1992. Those are, those are the BDP albums. Now, when it comes to solo albums, solo albums, Rod Kim dropped three solo albums, which came out, the 18th letter came out in 1997, and that went gold. That was on Uptown Universal. The Master came out November 30th, 1999, and The Seven Seal came out November 17th, 2009. He did other compilations and things, but at that time, though, it was nothing major. But he had some good singles. Guess who's back when I be on the mic? Holy are you. Walk these streets. Don't call me. Yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, Rakim always did his thing. But even with Eric B and Rakim, some of the, you know, songs that stood out that everybody loved was Eric B is president. I ain't no joke. Oh, my God. That, that, that. That shook up the hip hop scene, the community. Um, paid in full, follow the leader, microphone fiend. Love that um, beat right there. Um, let the rhythm hit them in the ghetto. Don't sweat the ca technique, casualties of war. Juice. Karis One, his solo albums started in 1993, Return of the Boom Bap. Karis One, 1995, I Got Next, The Sneak Attack 2001, Spiritual Mind in 2002. Chris Styles, 2003, Keep Right, 2004, Life, 2006, Adventures of MC in 2008, Maximum Strength, 2008, um, The BDP Album, 2012, Never Forget, 2013, Now Here It Is, 2015, The World Is Mine, 2017, Street Light, 2019. Yeah, that came out last year, man. So, um, this is going to be very difficult and tricky, but I have... A system how to get this going. So when it comes to lyrical abilities, I'm gonna say Rock Kim edges out Kara's one with that. The flow, that's kind of even. Delivery, Rock Kim is gonna edge out Kara's one slightly. Storytelling, Kara's one by far. Passion, Kara's one. Emotion showing, that's more Kara's one. Rock Kim is more monotone. Rhyme schemes. That's Rock Kim, hands down. The impact and influence, that's more like even. So, but when it comes to metaphors, metaphors and subject matter, subject matter goes to Kara's one. Metaphors goes more to Rock Kim. Freestyle them. Freestyle, excuse me. I've never heard Rock Kim freestyle, but I've heard Kara's one. I think he edges him out. Battling? Damn. That might be even. B selection, I give that to Rock Kim, but Kara's one, he has some great beats too. Hooks. Rock Kim hooks sound better than Karis One hooks. Now, overall, how do you grade something like this? This is a crazy thing to grade, but if I had to grade this, I would say Rock Kim. 
his impl- his impact became more of like the introduction of lyricism. He gave the introduction of lyricism. That's why when you have artists like Nas, Kooji Rap, when you have other artists like Kendrick Lamar, when you have other artists that came after that, like um, Cannabis, you know, the list goes on and on and on. They follow Rakim. Rakim was the trendsetter of lyricism. I'm just being honest, hands down. You have to look at it like that. But when you th- when you think about philosophy, when you think about, like I said, subject matter, the 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 um making people you know do different things, challenging themselves. Um, Karis one he deserves that respect, especially what he did in the um the eighties. He's always came with some great stuff. Look what he did with MC Shan. Um, I just feel that his his longevity actually beats out Rakim and it doesn't beat him out like he's a better rapper than Rakim I feel that his longevity puts him in a position as he's done more as far as Rakim as far as more solo albums more compilations more projects Rakim I felt that his momentum burnt out like even though he was making you know appearances and guest features on people albums but you knew that rock kim had that that crazy momentum from the late 80s early 90s because nobody didn't want to see rock him rock him was the man when him and eric b that was this like classic right there that was one of the that's one of the best hip-hop duels of all time bdp karis one did his thing don't get me wrong but I believe when it comes to like just teaching the people about life, culture, hip hop, that's all Kara's one. But when it comes to wordplay, bar for bar, lyrics alone, Rakim wins that. Hands down. That's his category. And nobody gonna see him. That's why they call him the God MC. That's why when you that's why, like I said before, there was Nas, Prodigy, you know, Jada Kiss. You know, the list goes on and on and on. Corrupt. All these MCs. Razzcast. You got to give Rakim that, his props because he set that trend. Just like if you think about in basketball. Michael Jordan set that bar. Then you had a person like Kobe Bryant that wanted to follow after him. Then you had LeBron James. Then you had a Kevin Durant. Then you had a Kawhi Leonard. They did that. Now, when it comes to Karis one. How did he set the trend for certain people? You had rappers like Dead Prez. You had rappers like um, Immortal Technique. Um, people in the UK, maybe like Akala and whoever else. I can't even think right now. Lupe Fiasco. He set the bar of just making people actually talk about what's really going on in this world because people was just more just, you know, just keeping hip hop, don't get me wrong, but he took it to another level. He was talking about being a vegetarian. He was talking about African history. He was talking about what is knowledge. He was talking about not selling drugs to your, you know, your people in the community. So Karis One, he was always that professor on the microphone. He was giving you hip hop one-on-one at the beginning, no matter what. He helped bring out um, Channel Live, Station Identification, that album dropped, what, 94, 95? So Karis One has always did great things. He's never shied away from a battle. He's always dropping dope stuff. I even heard some of his new stuff. Man, it sounds like the dude is getting better by the age. Rakim, I know he still has it in him. It's sad that Rakim and, um, wasn't able to drop an album on Aftermath because everybody wanted to hear an album with him and Dr. Dre, but Dr. Dre screwed him over, and that's you know sad to hear. But if you want to ask me, I say Rakim is the better lyricist by far. He's the better lyricist by far than Karis One, hands down. Ain't nobody seen Rakim. I'm not going to lie about that. You cannot touch Rakim. Now, when it comes to, like I said, the subject matter, when it comes to um, teaching the philosophy of hip-hop, when it comes to, like, you know, just breaking down the things that people have a better understanding when you can actually educate somebody about anything that's the person you're going to go to as Kara as one. He's the educator. 
Um, Rakim is the God MC. Karis One is the pioneer. Post your comments below. Hulk smash Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you'd like to support and donate to the channel, I have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs. Everything's in the description. Until next time, peace.